hello good afternoon good morning good evening my fellow creative designers and content creators welcome once again to another exciting episode on this channel and in today's episode this is what you are going to design yes a beautiful church flyer in photoshop and if this is the first time of you coming across this channel please stick around let's walk through this step-by-step -step tutorial from beginning to the end and at the end trust me i'm gonna surprise you with something yes watch to the end to get the surprise so without wasting much time control n to open a new document and then we are going to use a square size 2000 by 2000 height 2000 width 2000 and remember i've typed everything over here all the text i'm going to use so i'll just copy this control c to copy it and then come and hit here title control v to paste it that is a turning point church flyer resolution is 300 it's going to be for social media handle rgb color mode and then click on create and then you have a nice background with me like this so i'll unlock this one and start working with the background so i have this as my first background i'll drag this in photoshop and then release it now so with this at the background control enter and then that is it now right click and then convert to smart object go to filter go to blur gaussian blur and set blur to 50 and i think it's awesome this is okay so i'll go again in my resources file and then drag this drag it in photoshop and release it boom hold shift and then tilt or scale here up and then hold shift again and scale here up press enter and that's awesome let's go to the blending option and we set it to this soft light all right we set it to soft light uh something like this overlay is okay and then that is it then i think this is awesome so this and this in a group control g and then call it background all right so background is set nicely go to view go to guide and then new guide layout okay so you go to view then you go to guide and then new guide layout yes and then you just set here to six and then here by five and then press enter like that and then that's okay yeah all right so the background is set nicely and i think we'll go here again and then drag this white paper inside and then we'll tilt it this way yes we'll tilt it this way and then change here to 90 angle to 90 and then that is done setly like that we reduce the size a bit to something like this is okay and then press enter to accept the changes and i think this is okay this is okay this is okay so the next thing is that we are going to work with the head and control c to copy this one and then just let's inside again then we drag this drop it in photoshop and then release it and then push it up like this yes let's push it up like this to hit here then press enter t on the keyboard hit here control going to paste it and then we have copied the midweek anointing midweek anointing and the font you are going to use it is called let's use um a font called stanley font yes let's use a font called stanley this capital m and i still the same then we push it up we push it up. I mean, we are going to change the hex code let's pick something closer to this yes this okay and then control t and scale it up like this push it up use your arrow key to push it up yes push it up and then go and copy the service yes go and copy control c to copy it and then duplicate this one duplicate it double click inside and control v to paste it and then let's change that to color white yes you change it to color white and then scale it up a bit not too big like that push it yes beneath it okay so this is set and then let's put this and this in a group let's put this in this in a group and then we call it maybe top yes so tops and tops is done now the next thing is that we are going to pick um i think there is another text we so join us or come join us now come join us and then with that we use this font we use this font 
something like this or better store yeah no i think we use a font closer to this or better store let's use a font like this and then sorry a high school like this and then the font is autograph yes autograph and let's change here to 20 20 should be awesome for now and then control t let's push it at the center yeah let's push it at the center and then let's double click at the edge here and then go to stroke yeah go to stroke and set the stroke to color white yeah color white is okay and then that is it that is it okay for the meantime that is it for the meantime then we are going to bring the theme which is turning sorry turning control c to copy it t on the keyboard if it's not coming hit here t and then press enter control sorry control v to, to paste it and then control t again scale it up and then bring it to this side now let's change the font to this font is it cafe yes cafe font and then we reduce it to 50 is too also too big and i think 50 is okay 50 is too it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay yeah 50 is okay and then we use a gradient we use a gradient so double click here and we'll go to gradient and then let's set our gradient i think we need to save this gradient for the meantime and then we we'll use this gradient yeah we we'll use this gradient and i think it's okay let me push it here a bit and um this is okay so hit here and then that is it all right control t let me reduce this size a bit it's too big awesome 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 double, double click it and then write the point go or go and just double click control c and then control v to paste it and then bring it at this side okay then you go and pick this side the ultimate control c okay so with the test copied control t here is not coming hit t here Con hit your control v to paste it and then we are going to just break this apart apart like that and then let's go and change the font to Montserrat. yes change the font to Montserrat. and Montserrat. let's use something like extra bold and that is awesome we change here to all caps and then let's open up here a bit it's too close it's too close so we open here up a bit and this is okay let's close here to also a bit like that all right then being on the keyboard to take it to the move to and then we position it here yes we take position it here then the point and this i think is we go up a bit yeah and i think the turning we have to increase it a bit it's not in line with this and i think it's okay yeah it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay then the next thing is that we are going to bring the name yes we are going to bring the name Control c to copy it and then t here on the keyboard if it's not coming hit here and then move Control v to paste it and i think the name is still okay therefore we we'll use this hex code use this color or better still let's use this color yeah i think this is okay this okay this okay and then let's make it uh too small to something like 10 it's okay and guys i think 10 is okay 10 is okay well better still i think the name let's draw a rectangle underneath it because we just want to do it exactly how we saw the previous video so we change here to this color no 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 this color very deep like this and good this is awesome yeah this is it this is it then we bring the name up and then change the name the color to color white yes that is it that is it that is it that is exactly then let's open up here to something like 100 and that is awesome that is awesome that is awesome that is awesome and i think this is getting better this is getting better this is getting better so the name and this let's bring it down a bit all right so now with this and this control g and then you can call it theme all right so the name or the theme is set now i left it the date and time 
So you pick this rectangle to then come and draw your nice rectangle here, something like this. And then just double click at the edge here. And we are going to use the gradient overlay we saved. Yes, this is it. We save it over here. Then that is it. Just double, double, duplicate it and then push it at this side. And then position it well. Use Just use the arrow key to position it well. And I think it's in line. It's in line. So we are going to copy with 125. Control C to copy it. T on the keyboard. Hit here. Control B to paste it. And the font is Montserrat. Yes, we are using Montserrat for this one. And then the size, let's use bold. And then the color is color white. Then push it on top of this. Control T, scale it up a bit and then make it big small. Let's see the size. It's too big. Let's make it 30. 30 is okay. Perfect, 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 perfect. Now we are going to pick the June. Control C to copy it. T here, hit here. Control V to paste it. And then we change we push it on top double double click it and then break it apart like this good control t and then you scale it up and push it use the arrow keys yes use the arrow keys all right so the date is set now let's copy this 25 sorry you copy it, hold out and drag it to the side. Perfect. And then go and copy 10 p.m. or oh, sorry, 10 a.m. And then come and paste it. Control V to paste it. Change it to all caps. Yeah, change it to all caps. And this is awesome. Perfect. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Now pick your rectangle too again and draw a beautiful rectangle underneath it. And then make sure the color is still this pure your pure violet like that and then go and pick the location control c to copy it t on the keyboard hit here and then control v to paste it and then the color is color white yeah control t and then push it on top of this press enter and i think we brought art perfect 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 and uh, Montserrat black is too and then okay I think this is awesome control T let's scale it up a bit like this awesome 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 control V sorry is center and align perfect and this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome so the remaining details is what something like the contact details Con sorry we just control C to copy it T here hit here no 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 T and then hit here control V to paste it and then we change the color to something like this yeah something like this and then let's make it all caps let's make it and then let's change here to 10 perfect then you go and copy the rest of the contact details control C to copy it now duplicate this one or hit here to control V to paste it and then control T scale it up again and then push it underneath this push it underneath or better so you can push it here and then push this one here and then i think we can change this to this color yeah just so that it should be something different a bit double click and then you realize that the second contact details in not, is not in line so increase it increase it and i think it's okay now it's in line yeah it's in line it's in line in line perfect 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 so, so now all this thing in a group and then control g and then call it what details yes so details is set and i think the tops must come down a bit yeah the tops must come down a bit and then theme must also come down a bit and then details must come down a bit and guys when we are done we are not done yet we have some things to add this drag it in photoshop and then release it and then you scale it up like this this is a, a rope that we had to just put it on top and then make it look awesome so scale it up and make sure this covers here and this also covers here perfect perfect i think we need to scale it up a bit and then this is awesome 
this is awesome this is awesome bring it down a bit yeah bring it down a bit and then you need to go and pick the other one and then also bring it drag this and then introduce it into it scale it up like this yeah scale it up like this and then we are going to bring the image yeah we are going to bring the image so drag this image and then release it boom nicely like that and then scale it up like this and then you can position the image somewhere here yeah you can position the image somewhere here right click and then flip it to the side and then let the image be like this i think this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome and when we are done this and this becomes the roofs yes roofs and this becomes what the image yes yes and then i think this fight we need to open the backgrounds up and then add this fight into it yes we add it into it so that it will be a complete thing now when we are done we added some lens flare to it drag this lens flare and then hold uh, no 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 not at the background so bring it top bring it to the top bring it to the top and then go and drag it and then push it at the top hold shift and then push here to this side and push here to this side press enter and then we are going to set a blending mode to something um or some something you may like or something of your choice and um, for the purpose of tutorial i think we set it to this color dodge or yeah color dodge is okay for now and guys this is how we were able to achieve this awesome design the only thing i've changed here is the image yes the only thing i've changed here is the image and this is it this is please kindly subscribe to this channel like share comment and let me know how this tutorial is helping you or how this channel is helping you in any other way until then i'll see you in the next tutorials bye for now